There's no physical evidence of what was once described as the Devil's Half Acre. A cruel, dark place of agony and despair for enslaved African American people, tortured and beaten here at the infamous Lumpkins Jail in Richmond. That jail, once existing on a compound owned by the notorious Robert Lumpkin, a man with a brutal reputation for abusing the enslaved. Many of its, uh, those who were enslaved died of disease and, and mistreatment, and so it was a filthy, grimy place. Whipping and beating uh, men and women left to rot in their own excrement. The site once belonging to Lumpkin's home, jail, and lodging for slave traders in the mid-1800s is now buried beneath mounds of concrete under Interstate 95 and Shackle Bottom. Today, visitors are met with these historical markers by Main Street Station. So Lumpkin Jail became a very important place for two reasons. One, it held those slaves that were considered rebellious, so to speak, so that they would be seasoned, so to speak, or just uh, taken care of in ways that would ship before they go on domestic slave trade on one. Among those who survived the unimaginable on Lumpkin's compound, as Richmond reigned as the second largest hub for the U.S. slave trade, an enslaved woman named Mary, who at 13 was forced to bear his five children. Among them, Dr. Carol Livia Haran's great-grandfather, Richard Lumpkin, who she says changed his name. The name Lumpkin was considered so evil at that time. When I realized that I was really descended from this awful, evil man, I felt that I had to do something with my anger. She bought this bracelet to rattle off frustration. Because if I accept this mar marvelous woman as my ancestor, well, he's my ancestor too. And every time I say it, it breaks my heart that, that, that I'm kidding to this woman.